Hey everyone, welcome to the Dice Dojo Painting and Gaming Studio. Today I wanted to talk to you about something you can do to improve your play experience for Marvel Crisis Protocol. This has to do with all the tokens that came with the game. Um, personally, probably one of my least favorite parts of the game is just token management, so anything I can do to help streamline that is going to just make the game a better experience for me and the people I'm playing against. So I'll show you some examples here. So here we have one of the objective tokens, one inch in diameter, it comes with the game. Nice cardboard punch out. Um, as you can tell, it's cardboard punch out there. So the first thing you can do is take a black Sharpie marker, and you've already seen where I've started this here, but you get the idea. You fill this in along the edge, and what that does is instead of that cardboard punch out look, it gives you a nice premium token look. Uh, real simple thing, doesn't take too long for each one, and it's just going to let you bump up the quality of them a little bit. So the next thing you can do is take this product, Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. It's an acrylic layer, kind of like a gloss coat. Apply it to the top of your tokens in a thin layer. What you don't want to do is let that product go over the sides of it. Don't apply it in excess. Thin layers are always better. Once you get used to it, you can kind of take it to the edges. So here's a token that you'll see that I've got it kind of going around to the edges here without going over the sides. Leave a thin layer on it. Apply it. Let it sit like 48, 72 hours. Uh, I found closer to 72 work better. The ones I had closer to 48 hours kind of stuck together when I put them all up. So spread them out across a large flat surface. Let them sit for a few days when you're at work, whatever you're doing. Let them dry. Uh, one thing to be aware of, if you have animals, any kind of animal hair, anything's going to get stuck in there and be almost impossible to get out. So do it in an area that's not exposed to animals, anything like that, or any kind of debris in your house. Um, but it gives it a nice acrylic sheen here. And between the lighting on it, the acrylic sheen, this kind of looks more like a third-party premium token that you would replace the core set tokens with, something like that normally in a miniatures game. So that's a nice way to pop it up. The next thing that you can do, you're ever going to most need five red tokens, five blue tokens. What I mean by that is a crisis and extraction. We refer to them as red and blue where I play at, but technically that's the proper names for them. So what I did, I printed some uh, 3D tokens here. You can see using clear red and clear blue resin. You don't need to have a 3D printer. If you do, that's great. And what I did was I had some custom designed tokens for my friendly local game store here, the Warzone, uh, designed for Warhammer 40K. I just resized these to one inch uh, so that they're the exact size of these, which is important for gameplay purposes. Resized them and just printed them out in batches, five red and five blue. Again, that's the most you'll ever need for either mission. And then you'll have them... Uh, what I did, I did it, I printed them out, took them with me, went and played in a local event. And then what I found was people were like, oh, that's so much simpler. You're not digging around. You know, uh, how do I get those? So I've been printing them out and spreading them out through the local community. Uh, you don't have to 3D print these. What you could do instead of 3D printing them is, you know, a nickel with some red foam core, you know, color over something, whatever you wanted to do. Red cellophane would look nice. Uh, that's what I went for. But the ones I 3D printed just have a dry brush over and pick up the detail, and it's just like otherwise it's, you know, just the resin that I use. So 3D printing is great if you have access to it. Not a requirement by any means. But what you could do, print this out, you know, create them, however you're going to go about designing them. Because what I found was is the more and more sets came out, I was digging through 20, 30, 40 tokens, so on and so forth. And it just got to become a hassle. I'm digging for hammers. I'm looking for portals. I'm looking for the spell book. And it was just kind of a pain. Like I said, I'm not really keen on tokens anyway. So one way to mitigate that, I just print these out. I put them in with my dice, put them in with my cards. Five red, five blue. It's all I'm ever going to need. If you want to keep the other tokens, you can. But I quickly found this is all I want to use for the game now. I thought the idea was real simple, but it was worth sharing. So I wanted to put it out there in the community. Anything we can to grow the gaming community. You know, we should all, we're all a part of it and we should do everything we can. So try this out. Uh, if you like the video, please like, consider subscribing. I'd appreciate that. If you have any feedback, something that you use, something that didn't work for you, an alternate idea you have to improve on it, please post in the comments. I'd love to hear back from people and just see what everybody thinks. Uh, if you have any future comments or video suggestions, please let me know as well. I'm open. I plan to be doing these on the regular, so I'll see you soon.